let's look at panning here inside of Photoshop. So I have my move tool selected, but many of you would be aware that if you hold down the spacebar, it will temporarily give you the hand tool. So you can easily move your picture around the screen. You simply, with the spacebar held down, hold down your mouse button and then move the picture and then simply release the mouse button. Nice and easy. But there is another functionality built into all of this. So again, keep your spacebar held down. Now, if I release my mouse button while I'm still moving the mouse, watch what happens. You actually flick the image. So the image continues to move once you've released the mouse button and then it just slowly stops. Now watch what happens if I throw this image pretty fiercely. You can see it keeps going and then it just keeps going. But what's great is you don't have to just wait for this thing to stop scrolling. If I move it, if I just simply grab it with my mouse, did you see that? So I'm gonna throw this and then while it's moving quite quickly, I'll grab it with my mouse. So this is how I often like to work. I will very quickly move around my document if I need to do a quick scan. And if I see something that catches my eye, I'll simply grab it with my mouse and stop it. Very nice. Now I'm a big fan of this and it's actually called flick panning. So again, I'm a big fan of flick panning. I use it a lot. But what I've recently learned there is there are a lot of people that don't like this functionality. So if you don't like this flick panning and you want to turn it off, go up to your preferences. So here on a Mac, I'm going to Photoshop Preferences Tools. And if you're on a Windows machine, just look under the Edit menu for Preferences and Tools. And you are looking for this option just here, Enable Flick Panning. So if I turn that off, you can see now the normal movement of the mouse works. So I'm just clicking and holding while holding down the space bar. But if I try and flick this, it just comes to an immediate stop. It doesn't actually work. So I'm a big fan, as you know, so let's go and turn that back on. So flick panning. So again, guys, if yours was off for any reason, because enable flick panning is turned on by default. So if I turn that on again now, you can see I'm happily flicking my document around like so. That's it, guys. Flick panning in Photoshop. Hope it helps.